Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Andrea and this is my colouring and hobbies channel, Andrea's Attic. If you've been here for, before, thank you, thank you for coming back if you're a subscriber. Thank you so much. Um, if you've just happened upon this video because you're interested in colouring and um, thought you'd have a look to see what I've coloured this month or in the month of September, thank you for dropping by and I hope you would consider subscribing. I hope to get some more videos up very, very soon. So it is October now, so we're going to look back on the month of September and I didn't colour a huge amount. I think I coloured something like 15 pages, which isn't much for me. I just wasn't in the mood. I've been working on getting my eBay account up and running and I've been doing a lot of work on that. And normally when I was working my 9 to 5 job, which wasn't actually 9 to 5, I'd finish around 1ish and that would be it for the day. But with eBay, I may finish doing a lot of stuff around one o'clock, my draft list in photography for it. But um, afterwards, there would be things like packing items, so for the next day's post, which I could leave to the next morning, but I like to get them off as early as I can. So for instance, I've got three to ship tomorrow. I pack them today. They'll go off tomorrow when I take Jennifer to school. Now I may get another order tomorrow or even tonight, and then I will pack it tomorrow before I pick her up from school. So it, it does eat into some of my spare time a little bit, but that's not why you're here. So let's have a look. So I got into the Halloween mood a little bit early. I've done a few Halloween pictures. The first one being in, excuse me, I'm going to yawn. It happens every time I start filming something. Uh, Relax with Arts Holiday Edition Bewitched, which is their Halloween special for 2023. I'm going to do one in this one again this month, if I can find it. I did the cover page. Um, and this was just various markers, as you can see. I've got a hodgepodge of markers downstairs that I just use. There's everything from uh, Ohuhu, there's Shuttle Art, there's Crelando, there are office stationery or something, office supplies, I'm not sure what they're called. And they're all in a big box and I use them and I'm trying to condense them all down so they're not taking up some space. So that would be those. And then we've got some a glitter gel pen on the... Um, Stars, gold, moon, silver, and black, silver, uh, sorry, yeah, and green on her bodice. And they would have been the Link Shine pens. I still use them. I still love them. They are still my favourite. So that was that one. I did two In A Million Unicorns by Lulu Mayo. And both of these were buddy colours with Molly Newland. Hello, Molly. So the first one we did was this page of the little unicorn flying across the moon and this was done mostly with the Ohuhu water brush markers. I just like the way they lay down on this page. They're water based so they don't go through particularly. You might get a little bit but it'll cover when you colour that page and it's very easy um, to do. And then Molly messaged me when we were in the middle of doing this one saying oh I'm doing this one next. Do you want to do you want to do it with me? And I went yeah of course love to. And so we did this double page spread of the carousel and again oh who water brush markers because they just look nice and various gel pens um again mostly link shine but i do think i used i used some of my other ones as well but i can't tell you which ones they were because i don't know so all different colors very sparkly i went for a little pastel effect down on the bottom and all the while, lowels up here, all the while I was carrying this in, I was singing the carousel, carousel waltz from the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical. You know, la da 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 Couldn't help it, just kept singing it. <laughs> That's enough singing for me. Um, and then I did one on the channel, uh, which was Moon Valley by Maria Trolley, as you know. Um, I finished it off camera, but it was only the sky that was left, which was this. I didn't find, whoops, my purple uh, Prismacolor. I don't like the way Prismacolors lie down on this page. It's probably just me. So I just used a different one just to finish it off. It's not too bad. I have now found the pencil. Found it this morning. I was tidying it up. But I do quite like it. It's, it's very pretty. It's a lovely book. I will try some different pencils in here next time I colour. But, uh, you know, I, I do like a little deer in the, in the moonlight. Very nice. Glad I did it. On to patterns now. I did one in Sally Berry's 300 pattern mandala book thing. I love this book. I love doing pictures in this. Yet again, ha, glitter gel pens, link shine, obviously. Um, I don't do them all in glitter gel pens. I do a lot of them in glitter gel pens. 
but I also use normal markers as well but that's all I, was. I just thought I just gonna use three colors colors I'm gonna use red gold and green so it's just like my dreams karma chameleon <laughs> It's all music this week, isn't it? Come, 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 chameleon. You come and go, you come and go. Loving would be easy if your colours were like my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. Sorry, anyway, that's that one. You get to hear me sing. I don't know why I'm in a good mood tonight. Um, and then on to some of the uh, colour by numbers. I did, I think I did finish this one, I must have, because, oh, I did two in 50 Diamond Mandalas by Sachi and Sachi Diva. So I did this one, and again, this looks like it's been done with watermarkers, don't know which ones, can't tell you offhand. I'm going to say Amazon, maybe, I don't know, or might have even been Super Tips, because I've been using them a lot. And this one as well. Again, um, not sure. I don't write it down. I should start writing it down really and put it on a post-it or list it in a notebook because I've got 10 billion notebooks. I might try and do that in September. Right, what picture I've done and what markers I used or what pencils I used. Um, but yeah, I don't go mad on it. I just like to colour. And this month was just a matter of getting the colouring done when I felt like it, nice and easy, because that's all I felt. I just wasn't in the mood for anything too complicated. So this is Halloween Color My Number by Prachi Dewan Sajdeva. And I did this one. Now this one, again, I, it was done with, that was done with, this. it's definitely done with Super Tips. Yeah, that was Super Tips. I remember doing that one with the Super Tips, so I'm happy with that. It's very nice, as you can see, very pretty. I like him, he's so funny. So those will be staying out because obviously it is a Halloween month. And then we've got uh, Stained Glass Halloween by Sachin Sach Diva. Again, I like this book as well. And I did this one of the little haunted house with the little ghosties coming out of it. And I, I like this. This one was done with, this was Amazon ones. I can tell this because the Amazon ones do go through when I didn't put another page in behind it, which is naughty but it was Amazon's. But yeah, I like that. Didn't take long, it was just... It's been a weird month and I've just felt like doing simple colourings rather than doing anything too complicated. Now it's October, I love Halloween. I'm gonna try and do some of the Halloween books I haven't coloured in yet, as well as some of these nice easy ones as well. Uh, this is Halloween Colour by Number for Adults by Prachi Dewan, such a and I did these little owls in the tree in the haunted house. Not sure why they're green, but that's the colour it lines up with. That was Crayola Super Tips. I do like using Super Tips in these books because to be honest, this paper really drinks alcohol marker and any kind of marker. So at least with uh, Super Tips, it's not going to cost a fortune. You get 100, I think 100 pence, 20 quid in the UK, something like that, on Amazon anyway. But then there's that one. And then I did one in, it's all such and such diva, 50 Halloween mandala colour by numbers, such and such diva. And we did this one, and this one was done. This one was done with the Amazon pens, but it didn't go through this one for some reason. Not sure why, but they didn't. Mostly, yeah, Amazon pens. I like this book actually, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's really cute. When I first did it, a couple of years ago I got it, I think, or last year or the year before, and I did the first page, I thought, oh, this is a bit fiddly. But I really like it, so I had a cat scrabbling at the door, so I really like this one. So. Now on to the 10 book to finish um, challenge. Um, as you know, it's now down to eight books to finish because I've actually finished two. I hardly did any. I think I did four this month. I was not in the mood for the Jade Summer ones, so I didn't do them. I have started doing them this month though, because I'm more in the mood for it now. So I did do another one in Creative Haven's Rose Windows. I generally use the um, Crelando pens for this. I just love it. <laughs> but I might use my Ohuhu Pastel alcohol markers next time, because that also looks nice. Oh, I love the smell of these markers. They can smell it coming off the page. Um, but yes, 
again, didn't want to use too many colours. A bit of yellow, orange, green, pink, blue and red. I love, I, I really do enjoy this book and there's not many left to do it. I'll be sad when I finish it because I really like the book and I've had it for a while, but I need to finish it now. I've got so many other books that at least if I can put, if I can put five out of the 10 away completed, I will be happy because there are so many other books that I think right now I'll keep the five, the other five I would do in for next year and I'll pick out another five to start working on uh, all the way through. So yeah, that's what I'm planning on. So that's that one. Put that to one side. I did one in Easy Mandalas by Stefania Miro. And again, this one is what I'm hoping to finish this year because there's only like about nine pictures in it and they don't take long. Um, and I did this one. And again, it's just three colours. But this time it's not red, gold and green, it's gold, red and blue. And I really think it looks pretty. I must admit, I do love using my gel pens. And again, this book, this is one of the first mandala books I bought, if not the first mandala book I bought. So it'd be quite nice to finish this and put it in my box on top of the wardrobe of completed books, which actually only has two books in it at the moment. But yeah, I'm really, I really like that. I love the way the, oh, the glitter, it comes off and you can, and it goes off on, around it. But I think that actually makes it look quite nice on the black background. You can just about see it sparkling there. But yeah, that's that one. I did another one in the Colour Questopia colour by number, Kawaii colour by number. Again, this is one that I'm not going to finish, um, but I will uh, carry it over until next year and hopefully finish it next year. I do love it. I love colouring in the little kawaii cute things. I get bored putting the outline around. As you can see, I've done a different colour outline. I've done a dark blue one, because they're like turtles in the sea. And I thought, just make it a bit different from having silver. Every now and again, I'll mix it up. I think I've done a gold one as well somewhere. But again, this was done with the Amazon markers. You can tell because they go through. And as you can see, I've put a paper underneath it. But yeah, I did enjoy that. I do enjoy this book. I just get bored putting the outlines around them. That's just me. I, I think, I don't know, do you, do you like doing those outlines or do you get bored with them as well? So, And this is a really, I've got this book and I've got uh, um, uh, one of the, I can't think of it, another book, but it's 100 best. It's not by this one, it's Sudden Life Drawing that sometimes has it. And that's not too bad because it's not in all of them. But when it's a book of all of them, I'm like, oh, I don't want to do it. But I do like this. It's so cute, this picture. And then the last one I did was another one I will be finishing this year because I need to do one every month in this to finish this. And that's Kel Chelsea's Pretty Creations. Chelsea Jade Murray. I did this one. And I didn't do a background this time because I was going to think, oh, I'll do a background. I'll go and do some metallic background or something. Um, but you know what? I thought, no, I quite like the way it looks just on the white. There are a few pages of duplicates in here. And because that I said, like, this one has a duplicate as well. I've said Jennifer can do those. I'm not going to do them twice. So, and that'll be for most of the books as well. So, yeah. So she, she scribbles more than anything else. <laughs> She's getting better at colouring. But, like, she did the lollipop girl. And she colours her in like that. But actually, I yeah, quite like it. It's quite punky. She likes the way that the, the paper sparkles. The, the, you know. But yeah, so that's the last one I did. I think that's my favourite for the month. I really like it. I really like this book. They're not too complicated. They're easy to colour. And they're just a nice, nice, simple, fun pictures. You can go as outlandish or not with makeup and hair as you want. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Depends on the mood, depends on the picture. There's one picture in here. Which one is it? This one, I think looks like my friend Kate. So I enjoyed doing that one because she looks like my friend Kate. Yeah. So that's everything I coloured in the month of September. I'm really looking forward to coloring a fair few Halloween uh, pictures in October because you know it's Halloween month you've got to, it's got to be done and we'll see what happens and see how many we can colour I, mean, like I said it's not all about the numbers it's about just about enjoying the colouring 
hobby and sometimes you want to do things that are really detailed and in-depth and you want to blend and shade and whether it's with markers or, or pencils and in other times you just want a colour because you just need to get something out of your system and for me that's what this month has been I've just not been in the mood to do anything too complicated hence where there's lots of patterns rather than pictures although there are a few like I like the ones we did with the Lulu May ones I think my second favourite picture would be the Merry Go Round the, the carousel one I love that picture as well for those those two are definitely my favourites um, don't get me wrong I like everything I've done this month and I'm really looking forward to doing some more in this one and I have got the Colour in Heaven one all so I will be doing some colouring with you a colouring chat will be in one of these books one of the Halloween books it might be one of the Deborah Muller ones I haven't coloured in yet as you know uh, because I haven't got a job and I'm working for myself and I have to be very careful I'm not buying books at the moment I've only got three in September three that's good for me it's usually around ten um, however I do do other things so for instance I use the misplay app and I'm, I'm not being promoted I'm just saying I use the misplay app and I actually have now 50 quids worth of vouchers to get for that because I will probably claim them sometimes this month because there is a book I want which is a Marilyn Monroe book that's coming out um, but I haven't claimed it yet I'm waiting for it to come out and then I'll order it and I'll get the thing and I can pay for it with the vouchers and when I'm there I will probably order a couple of colouring books as well so I'm not really worried too much I have got so many uncoloured colouring books I might do a video on it would you like to see a video of all my uncoloured books if so let me know if you if you manage to watch so they're here let me know in the comments below and I will do it but I'll see you in the next one it will be a colouring chat um, after the weekly vlog which will be up tomorrow I hope <laughs> and I will see you all soon so thanks everybody take care bye